Hello everyone, MySQL has InnoDB as a transactional storage engine, where transactions act as a single logical unit of work which accesses or possibly modifies the data, and it guarantees ACID properties. MySQL also uses file-based logging mechanism in replication to capture data modifications in the form of events on a primary server and does the change propagation to replicas or other members. So, how does both fits together to provide ACID properties? For that, I present you this video on binary log as a transaction coordinator. MySQL replication, in DBMS, Database replication is a process of generating and reproducing multiple copies of data at one or more sites. In MySQL replication, when binary logging is enabled, a server captures the data changes into persistent log buffer that is a binary log file. Master dumps the data through network upon replica's request. Replica receives the data and persists it in relay log file. From here applier threads pick up the changes and executes it on the replica. Like master generates a binary log, even replica may also generate a binary log. MySQL has various ways of coordination between servers, of them three basic ones are, asynchronous replication, in this setup, master propagates changes to the replica, but doesn't wait for any acknowledgement from replica. Semi-synchronous replication, in this setup, master propagates changes to the replica, by taking hooks on either after sync or after commit and waits for the acknowledgement from replica. Group replication, in this setup, members interact with each other through message passing which is guaranteed as atomic and in total order, by group communication system. With this more advanced database replication solutions can be built. So, what makes MySQL replication so powerful? It is the binary log also known as bin log. The binary log, file-based log that contains the events that are capable of reproducing the changes on the server. It contains, control events, which consists of metadata information about server and bin log itself. Data events, which consists of actual data modifications and are sent in a group into binary log. Although each transaction is split into groups of events, but all events of a transaction are flushed to the log file together. Bin log format controls the way changes are logged into the binary log. Allowed values are statement, row, and mixed. In this video I'll use the default row mode, which captures data changes into the binary log. Binary log as a transaction coordinator, the flow of data modifications captured in binary log buffer and files on a server is known as capture flow. The transferring of data modifications and receiving acknowledgements from replicas or members is known as change propagation. In this flow chart I'll try to show both capture flow and change propagation. When a read-write transaction begins, the statements are parsed and executed, then data changes are captured, encoded to events and cached into transaction cache. Capture is an in-memory operation which can overspill to temporary files based on the bin log cache size settings. The capture process to cache continues until commit or rollback is hit. Upon rollback the cache gets removed and nothing remains to be flushed later. On commit, the transaction enters into prepare stage, if not ok transaction gets rollback, else it proceeds to flush stage in capture flow. If group replication setup is in use, before commit hook is taken by primary member before flush stage, and it waits for the certification from rest of the members in the group. If not ok the transaction gets rollback, else it proceeds to flush stage. In flush stage, transaction cache is flushed to binary log buffer. In sync stage, the fsync call is executed and binary log buffer file is written to the disk making changes persistent. If not ok, depending upon bin log error action settings server can abort or become read only. If everything is ok then, since binary log is persisted, asynchronous replication can do change propagation to replicas from here and proceeds to commit stage in capture flow. If semi-synchronous after sync is in use then, Master takes after sync hook and waits for acknowledge from the replica, 
This setup is also known as lossless replication because all the clients on master reads the same data before and after acknowledgement from replica. The next stage is commit stage, where commits happens in storage engine. If not OK, the server aborts or goes into read-only mode, else occupied threads are freed and commit is sent to the client. If semi-synchronous after commit is in use then, master takes after commit hook and waits for acknowledge from the replica, this setup has a small problem as compared to after sync, that is, after the commit and before slave acknowledgement, other clients can see the committed transaction before the committing client. This hook also has other use like in change propagation, after commit hook can be used to signal that the transaction has committed on the storage engine. After this, transaction commit completes and committing client receives the return status. To make the video crisp I've not gone into technical details of binlog group commit stages. To explain that I'll shortly bring the other video. With this, the capture flow and change propagation is complete showing the binary log acting as transaction coordinator. Thank you for watching this video.